In today's tutorial, I'm going to be discussing with you what clipping means, why you should avoid it, and how you can avoid it. Shalom to you my friends, my name is Isaac from Trego Studios. If you are new to this channel, I want to welcome you into this channel. On this channel, we train media volunteers in churches on how they can improve in their skills as they render their service to God through the media. So if this sounds like you, I want you to consider subscribing to this channel and make sure you click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we post a new video. So let's get straight into this today's tutorial. So what does clipping mean, all right? Now, you know, in elementary physics, while we're in school, you are taught that sound is represented as a sine wave, all right? A good audio signal should have a normal sine wave, all right? That is, you have the crest and the troughs, you have the high notes, the peaks, you know, those points where the amplitude is high and where it is lowest, all right? That's a normal audio signal. But when an audio signal is clipped, what happens is those troughs and crests, they are crushed. So instead of having a normal sine wave, you are going to be having a square wave. So this is what causes clipping. When you're asking your amplifier to do more than it is designed to do, because amplifier has different capacities. But when you're trying to increase the sound level for the speakers, you tend to increase the amplifiers. Now, the danger of that is it can cause clipping. Now, clipping is dangerous because it can result into the damage of your amplifiers or the damage of your speakers. Because when you're increasing your amplifier to do more than it naturally can do or more than it is designed to do. What happens is the amplifier is going to be is going to produce some high frequency harmonics that can actually destroy the tweeter on your speakers. Now, if that sounds difficult for you to understand, just know that when you are trying to increase your amplifier to do more than it is naturally designed to do, it produces a signal that the speakers does not like and it can damage the tweeter. Now, the tweeter is that part of your speaker that handles the high frequencies, all right? You know, we have lows, we have mains, we have high. So the tweeter is that part of the speaker that handles that high frequency. So when you are increasing your amplifier to do not more than it is actually designed to do, it causes clipping. Now, most amplifiers also has a signal to show it when you are when they are expressing that clipping, there's always a red signal there to show you that you are clipping, you're clipping. So it is dangerous to your system because your system begins to overheat when you are consistently clipping. Now there's no problem in occasionally clipping, you know, that's why even on speakers, when you are checking the capacity of speakers, there is the continuous power, there is the peak power, all right? So the continuous power is the power that both the speakers and the amplifiers can run continuously without having any issues. Now, but those peak power, they are only there to happen occasionally. So when they happen occasionally, they are just trying to tell you that this speaker can still permit this peak point for a short time, all right? So those peak power, they are for short time, you know, in servers, but the continuous is for a long time. So when you are now continuously operating on a, a high peak that the amplifier is not designed to run continuously, it is designed only for peaks, then your system is going to overheat, it can damage your amplifier, it can damage your Twitter, your speakers. Now, I've told you the dangers of clipping. You know, the first thing is that people can enjoy it, all right? You're trying to improve the sound, but eventually you end up destroying the sound. So clipping causes distortion in sound. Now, there are some people who use this as an effect in music, especially guitarists, they overdrive the amplifiers to produce a distorted sound. Now, but that is not advisable for the general in-house speakers, all right? When you distort the sound, it's not pleasing to ears. When clipping of course, it's not pleasing to the ears. The second problem is it can damage your equipment, and that is more costly, because both the speakers and the amplifiers, they are at risk. Now, how can you avoid clipping? The simple and most obvious way to avoid clipping is to turn down the volume. When your system starts giving you a signal that it is clipping, your best bet is to turn down the volume. The safety of your equipment should always be your priority. Try and avoid clipping. Now, clipping can occur right from the, you know, the soundboard itself. That is why you need to understand the concept of gain staging. Now, when your gain is not properly set, the sound is already distorted, and even though your amplifier is not clipping, the sound is still coming out as clipping because right from the source it is already clipping there is something we call preamp in every mixer 
all right now the signals are coming into your sound system whether it is an instrument or a vocal or a drum kit whatever it is now those signals are quite very very low now what the mixer does at the pre-amplification stage which is the gain stage is to boost those signals so that it can be at a good operational level for your sound system to work perfectly well that is the essence of the gain knob so the gain knob is actually where the pre-amplification happens where those signals are actually boosted to make it come to the nominal working level of the sound system now when you try to increase that gain knob which is where the preamp is situated when you try to increase that gain knob to a point that it is clipping and on most mixers there will be a red light close to that uh, that knob showing you that you're already clipping at this stage now when you now increase that gain knob to a point that is clipping actually you are demanding more from your sound system than it naturally can produce so the gain knob is not a volume knob as some of you might think it is actually boosting the sensitivity of the signal to a level that your sound system can work with so when you are asking it to do more than your sound system can operate it results in clipping so when you see the red light just avoid it starting from the gain from the gain knob like i said before it's not a crime for you to occasionally come to those peak points where your signals can just you know pop up red lights all right but that must not be your continuous running power it must be for a certain period of time it must just be occasional so your continuous signal flow must not be clipping that's the first stage to attack clipping now coming to the output section of the mixer so usually there's a meter showing the level of the signal going from the master output out of the system all right now check that like make sure it is not clipping now when you are reaching zero db you know on your meter you know you are already clipping at those points you are getting close to anything above zero db you are getting close to clipping depending on how your meter is actually designed you know but most times you will see a red light showing you that you are clipping so when your sound system on the master output is also clipping just know for sure that the sound that is going into the amplifier is already a clipped signal remember what those clipped signal is so some information has been chopped off it's not going to sound properly all right now so that is another place to address clipping so bring down your fader your master fader if you know that clipping is happening at this stage so clipping at that point is not just coming from a single signal entering into your sound system but you know a combination of several signals that is entering into your sound system so you have to adjust appropriately to make sure that master signal itself is not clipping now before you now come down to the amplifier itself so if the signal coming into each channel is clean and not clipping continuously and the master signal is also not clipping and it comes to the amplifier now the other place to tackle is the amplifier now if your amplifier is clipping turn down the volume of that knob so instead of turning up an amplifier to do more than it is naturally designed to do instead you should get a more powerful amplifier that will match your speaker because your speaker has its capacity and that capacity cannot come out until it has an amplifier that can match it appropriately when you know that your amplifier cannot power your speakers to its full potential get a better amplifier that can do that job for you instead of you know overdriving your amplifier to suit the capacity of the speaker you damage your amplifier it can also damage your speakers now something you must be mindful of is that um, most modern speakers has been designed with some limiters within the speakers all right so when they sense or they detect a clipped signal coming to them they just top off you know those signals so instead of damaging your instrument that device that is, has been built there is just going to cut the flow of that particular signal that can cause damage to your speaker thank you for staying to the end of this tutorial i believe you have learned one thing or the other so if you have any questions as regards you know clipping or you have any questions make sure you drop them in the comment section and if you have any other inputs to add to those things i've said that the community can benefit from so you can also 
drop them in the comments thanks to you guys those of you who are consistently watching those of you who reach out to me to ask questions and advice yeah i count it as a privilege and an honor to you know bless you guys with the little knowledge that i have so you can all reach me if you have any conversations up with me as regards media video production or audio production live stream you can contact me my phone number is 070 328 44129 070 328 44129 all right so i come here win again next time i want you to remain faithful in the lord's service god bless you bye